Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your weekly read. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius from October 10th to the 16th or whenever you come across it. So shout out to everybody in case nobody told you today. Delilah and I love you. Uh, this is Delilah. She's a little spirit guide and mascot on the channel. And I torture her with costumes. So now she's dressed up like an acorn for the fall. She just usually lays here and sleeps. Guys, two situations. Please be mindful. People trying to take your money. YouTube doesn't have a return policy. It's on you to contact your reader. How you get in touch with me. That information is in the box below. Uh, also, there's buttons and bells. That seems to be a situation here. So all I'm going to say is I'm sick of talking about them and hearing about them. Please do whatever feels right in your heart. That's between you and God. And I'll thank you ahead of time. Um, don't be a garvone. That is to say, sharing is caring. The energy is sick thick on YouTube. So take only what resonates with you. And that's only if something resonates. Don't make something resonate that doesn't resonate. Leave the rest for someone else. Uh, like I said, time is linear. So it doesn't matter that these are dated. We do read reversals and we are gender neutral. I may say he or she, depending on the card that comes out, but we are reading and channeling energy. And you can be in your masculine or your feminine at any time. Please apply the energy to your situation. That is if it applies to the situation. So here we go. So with an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Aquarius. So here we go. Show me what Aquarius needs to see, please and thank you. Show me what Aquarius needs to see, please and thank you. Oh boy. Sorry, Delilah. So, something coming at you fast, the chariot, that's cancer energy. So, something's moving very quickly in your environment, something's coming at you fast, you're moving fast towards something. Uh, you also, um, the hermit, Virgo energy, this is taking, this is, you know, taking a break from society. This is going in and loving yourself, pouring into yourself, nurturing yourself, spiritually ascending. Uh, when you... You know, are done with the hermit mode, you come out wiser, stronger, faster, right? So, um, some of you could be in that energy right now where you're just, you know, pouring into yourself. Now, you got the Six of Swords here. Six of Swords talks about uh, some kind of a sorrowful transition. Uh, it could be, you know, just, you know, it's getting out of dodge. It's getting away from a bad situation to go over where something's calmer. And, you know, it could make you sad to do this, but this is something that has to be done. See, that's the thing about the Six of Swords. It has to be done. There's no choice in the matter. No matter how sad you are about it, uh, it's just there's no other way. Show me. So at the foundation, there was no other way except for to move away from a sorrowful transition. Aquarius. I mean, a sorrowful situation. <clears throat> Show me. Crowning. Aquarius. Crowning you right now, Aquarius. You have the... Eight of Pentacles. So you're working hard at very, you're working very hard at something in your life. Uh, you also have the Three of Wands here, which talks about uh, some kind of crossroads that you could be at. Deciding, uh, well, in this depiction, it's, you know, which flower is going to bloom first, and which one am I going to pick? Um, you know, it's deciding which ship to get on when they do come in. But you do know that they're on their way in. All right. Uh, you have a Knight of Cups here. This is water, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is like, you know, the big brother energy, male or female, okay? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Venus. This is somebody who's helpful, friendly, nurturing. Could be coming in to offer you, you know, an emotion, even if it's just friends, even if it's platonic friends. Uh, but it could be something romantic as well. Tell me. For Aquarius, please and thank you. What's in the actual environment for Aquarius, please, and thank you. In the actual environment, you have the sun in reverse. So, um, this is some kind of material happiness, okay? But it's not like uh, hitting a lottery or anything. It's, you know, it's just enough. It's just a significant amount to keep you happy, keep you going, satisfy you, please you. So, um, you know, there is some kind of um, material harvest I'm hearing. I don't know. We also have the devil in reverse. Okay, I just want to make it clear that my cards are in the upright here. See that? Okay, so the devil in reverse, this talks about um, some kind of pettiness, some kind of weakness. Um, it could be some kind of, you know, it definitely could be something evil around you, somebody trying to plot evil against you. But it's like a petty, weak energy. It's immature. It's not capable. Um, 
Yeah, it could be somebody trying to do black magic as well, but they don't know what the hell they're doing. You know, it's like that. Uh, show me what's the most likely outcome for Aquarius is the Ace of Wands. So this is, you know, finding some kind of success and passion in a situation. All right. So you will be successful and passionate at the end of this in some kind of situation in your life. Um, could be family uh, with the Ace of Wands. Even though it's fire energy. Um, you got the world completing a cycle successfully. Uh, you know, the world is the end of the major arcana. This is moving forward in a positive direction, having graduated, learned all your lessons, uh, and now, you know, moving on to your future to conquer the world with your diploma in hand, right? Here we go. Show me this chariot. What's up with the chariot here? So, okay, that's good. You got some kind of, uh, something that uh, made you very melancholy and bittersweet. The Five of Cups is some kind of loss, or sadness, regret, you know. Um, it could have been something that, um, well, you know, something that you were very successful at initially, but then, you know, unfortunately you had to learn how to do something different with this uh, Ace of Pentacles, with the Three of Pentacles here. This is apprenticeship, honing in on your craft, concentrating on your work to take your mind off of any kind of, uh, you know, sorrow or transition. But, you know, for apprenticeship, Six of Pentacles, uh, I mean, the Three of Pentacles is the apprenticeship. With the Six of Pentacles, we're talking about stability, attention, prosperity. So there is some kind of successful, stable situation around you. Maybe that's what you're working on. Maybe that's what you're just learning how to work on with this apprentice card. Uh, especially after coming out of this hermit mode. Uh, learning about yourself, loving yourself, pouring into yourself. Virgo energy. Show me. The hermit, Aquarius. Show me the hermit for Aquarius, please. Let me go. Oh, God, guys, my nose is itching. Here it comes. Here comes some crazy messages. Watch. Okay, Scorpio energy, the tower. The ending of the transformation of a situation. Maybe that's why you guys are taking the time out and going inside yourself for a while. Something ended, so that's something new. Uh, it could, you know, towers could be painful, too. The surprise, the shock, maybe something ended abruptly that you didn't expect to. And you had to take this time out for a second to uh, figure out what, what it is that you want now. Who you are, what you will stand for, what you won't stand for. Tolerate. Taking a new leap of faith. Yeah, well, this tower would make you do that, right? Because something ends, so something has to start. So, you know, the tower uh, brings breaks it down so that you have to begin again. And the full Aries energy is all about beginning again. You know, taking that leap of faith. Doesn't matter which way you jump. You know the universe has got you. Letting go and letting God, right? Throwing wings on the way down. Show me. Show me for Aquarius. Cards for Aquarius. Thank you. Six of Swords. So now we're moving over to Karma Waters. The Six of Swords is about, you know, moving over to Karma Waters. It is... Um, you know, it could be sorrowful. Like I said, it's a transition, though. It's a necessary transition. You know, you have to. Yeah, you have to. And you got the Six of Swords, you know, is, is as your supporting card, but it's also coming in here as well. So it's, you know, it's something that was definitely at the foundation. You moved away from something that was uh, toxic, hurtful, you know, not healthy for you. Ace of Wands. You move towards some kind of passionate new beginning. Something that was going to be successful. Uh, not dangerous, I'm hearing. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, show me the Ace of Wands. Whatever this new... Some kind of passion of yours, maybe. Show me. Show me the Ace of Wands. Please and thank you. Let's go. Can I have cards for the Ace of Wands? We've got a lot of flippers here, guys, but... Okay, seven of wands, standing your ground, something that you that you deem to be successful, that you were very passionate about. Karma, there was a breakthrough in a situation at the foundation, and um, you could have been, you know, burdened down, but you still stood your ground. You could have been carrying a lot of burdens, uh, responsibilities, you know, doing things on your own. So now, working hard with the state of pentacles, this is crowning. This is something you're working very hard at. Maybe alleviating yourself from these burdens, I'm hearing. Show me. Show me, please and thank you. 
Can I have cards for this uh, Eight of Pentacles, please? Please and thank you. Let's go. Cards for the Eight of Pentacles, please. Okay, that's just crazy. Too many cards, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, they come out in bunches or they don't come out at all. Here we go. Show me the Eight of Wands. Let's go. I mean, the Eight of Pentacles. Show me. Okay, here we go. So, Ace of Cups. Yeah. Okay, so this is something that's uh, bringing you a lot of contentment, joy, and happiness, like I told you. Um, yeah. It could be uh, the shadow side. This is the devil. So now you got it here and you got it up right here. So crowning you, this could be somebody with Capricorn coming in the, into your future. Or somebody that has a lot of baggage issues, toxic behaviors, addictions. Or this could be you overcoming any bad traits, any uh, toxic people around you, or any addictions of your own. But uh, this could also be some mental illness. Show me. Like I said, toxic people around you. Could also be people that hide their toxic traits, right? We don't want the world to see. Like what goes on behind closed doors. Nobody knows what goes on behind closed doors on the earth. <clears throat> Whatever that means for anybody, I don't know. I mean, we all know that, right? Yeah. Now, this could have something to do with an Aries or an Aries archetype. Somebody who's very powerful. Uh, the emperor is all four kings in one. All the best attributes are the, of all well, the other king, of the four kings. This is him combined. He rules the whole world very successfully. Everybody's very happy and pleased and loved and nurtured and cared for in that empire. It's usually somebody older, somebody that's married. Uh, you know, the emperor is usually a man, but not necessarily. I don't buy that. All right. Now, with the three of wands, you do have some kind of success. So whatever whatever uh, crossroad you're at, you're gonna you're gonna pick the right direction. Okay, you're gonna pick the right ship to get on. So it's gonna be successful for you. Show me. You have some fast incoming information. Okay, so this could be text, phone calls, correspondence, but this is you know people exchanging ideas, thoughts, feelings. This is also traveling to see each other and some kind of a completion. So you could have some. You could very successful. You could be getting some information that's going to make you very successfully come to an ending of a cycle in your life. Okay, time to, you know, you got your diploma, you learned everything you needed to learn, you ascended spiritually, so now it's time to go out and start a new journey. You know, with your arsenal of tricks and education and everything else, and uh, the world is your oyster, right now. You also have this Knight of Cups. So this is a Big Brother energy coming in to offer you something that's reliable, kind, um, trustworthy. Could have something to do with your financial stability because Ten of Pentacles is financial security or a gain, some kind of financial gain, something materialistically, anything materialistically. You know, it could even be love. It could even be like love. It could be the financial gain of love. You got the Six of Wands. Yeah, what I tell you? Because this is victory and good news coming in. There is some kind of news coming in. You know? Whatever it is. It's going to bring you to a place of success. I mean, you got to the world. You got, you know, Ten of Pentacles. You got taking a new leap of faith. You got the Emperor. Yeah, now. Okay, so there is going to be some kind of news about some kind of fairness and balance in a situation. This is now Libra energy, right? Um, this could have been something that came to a very painful ending in the past, all right? This could have been something that was very destructive to you emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And it was definitely something from your past. This has something to do with something from your past, okay? Right. There could be some kind of financial information coming in. You know, you know, it's, it's, it's a cycle that you completed. Now, maybe it's not going to be like hitting a lottery worth of money, but it's going to be something that's going to help you. It's going to be just enough. Uh, so, that secret's coming out. Okay, this is the moon energy now. So, you have um, Pisces or Cancer energy. This, you know, in reverse, the moon talks about... Um, it's, you know, some kind of silence being broken, something that was not very stable, um, you know, 
Yeah. There also could be some kind of inconsistency, inconsistency in something. Now, you have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this talks about fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be a division or an interruption. So there could be some kind of um, information coming out about some kind of an interruption or a division in some kind of situation. Um, between you and people, could be between you and the living, you and a situation, you and the work situation. Uh, but the Knight of Wands would also be somebody who's uh, immature, irresponsible. Um, you got the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. So this is going to be good news, like I told you. You do have some good news coming in. And it, like I said, with the uh, the Moon in reverse and the Devil in reverse, it could be some kind of information about somebody's toxicities that's coming out here. Um, this could make you a little fearful and anxiety. Again, with the fear and anxiety. Yeah, well, you know. That doesn't necessarily mean retreating. It just means that this could be a lot of anxiety. It doesn't even have to be fear. So, But you are going to be investing effort into something. Um, just be careful with the five of wands. Again, like I said, any kind of conflict, struggle, or disputes around you. Uh, and then again with the Leo energy. So now you got this ace of wands. Show me the ace of wands. Something that's going to be successful to you, passionate. Show me. Please and thank you. Show me. Can I have three cards for the Ace of Wands? Let's go. The Sun. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. What did I just tell you? So the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. Okay. I think we discussed this already. Uh, this is, you know, beauty, illumination, brilliance, love, prosperity, good health. I mean, you know, anything materialistically that you could want. Uh, oh, I'm coming around with the King of Pentacles. Okay. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female. This is somebody who's financially abundant, hardworking, reliable, resourceful, intelligent. And we have, oh, king of swords too. So there could be two different people coming at you. You're going to have to make a decision. The king of swords is somebody who's thinking. This is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius now. Some of you could have earth and air in your chart, or somebody else could, and Leo, um, you know, Aquarius. But this could be you as well. This is somebody who's constantly thinking. They think about what they're doing. They think about what they're saying. I mean, air rules thinking. And also, I have to say that, uh, um, yeah. So this could be somebody that's thinking very heavily about coming at you. They're ready. Um, these two kings aren't even looking at each other, so they could be two different people. Now, the bottom of the deck, you do have the queen of pentacles. So this is the king of pentacles counterpart. Female. Uh, feminine energy. This is somebody who's, again, reliable, resourceful, intelligent, financially stable, hardworking, you know. So you're going to have to persevere through something and there could be somebody watching you, so be careful of that. Let's get some kippers. Kipper, what do you have to put in on this? For Aquarius, please and thank you. Aquarius. Give me Aquarius. Aquarius. Thank you. Some kind of pathway opening up. This is having been in the dark, and now there's a pathway, a new beauty, a new life, and rebirth with the butterflies, 35 or 8. Uh, you also have a choice, or there could be lovers involved, 15 or 6. Give me cards. We have 28 or 10, something, expectation. So you could be expecting something, news, information, a visitor, and a baby. Okay, now, 31 or 4, somebody could be in bad health. 39 or 12, there could be a community involved in this. There's some kind of a um, wealthy man that's involved as well. Let me take these, I see them on the ground here. Uh, you have 3333 three, three, three has a numero numerology today, 3333, three, 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 angel code. So like I said, a wealthy man, 13 or 4, there could be some kind of a you know, legal issue here in the court, 23 or 5. There is a false person around you, number 8. Number 20, the house. So some kind of real estate or a house involved. There could be a journey, number 10. And there could be a marriage involved, number 3. Also, there could be a thief or thieves around you. Please be careful. Here we go. Let's get you some uh, oracles. Yeah, thank you. Okay, that was pretty fast. Here we go. We'll take all of them. We have 
Meditation to dig deep. Hibernation and regeneration. Fire magic. Affirmation for growth. And at the bottom of this deck, you have follow your dreams. Okay, let's get you some astrology and moonology. And thank you again uh, for joining us. A little Delilah and I. Scorpio. Aries. The sun, which is also Leo. Emotions are running high. Super moon. Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aquarius, this is you. Capricorn. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Anything else? Oh, boy. Did I have to ask? You have Leo. You have bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. You also have Pisces. You have confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. And believe in the impossible blue moon. So Delilah says goodbye. Unfortunately, she's down for the count. But thank you for joining us. Uh, always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy because it's an illusion. Trust in God because karma is real. And until next time, Aquarius, love and light.